general, so I'm I'm of a relatively young generation. I mean, look look at me, right? So <laughs> I don't look like I'm 50. I'm not. But I'm of a relatively young generation of researchers, and I came up with software. So I am pro software because that's what I've used, and it's available to me. And so I fall into this camp of qualitative researchers who think there's no reason not to use software, especially if I'm going to be doing lots of qualitative data analysis. Um, so I have learned in vivo, and I'm comfortable in it, and that's what I use, and I like it. There are also other qualitative researchers out there uh, not necessarily of a particular generation that don't use software and think that it divorces you from your data, it puts a distance in between you and your data analysis. And at the heart of qualitative data analysis is a close reading of the text or a close analysis of your data. So closeness can be really important. And I've actually found the opposite is true, that that critique of qualitative software doesn't really hold up because I'm always a click or two away from the data in context, um, I find that it facilitates closeness for me, but you have to make sure to use it right. So I often say that qualitative software is not an easy button. So it's at its heart an organizational tool. It's not going to do the analysis for you. It's not, you know, it doesn't necessarily use machine learning. It's not computational. It's not going to spit out an answer or a simple number that you can put in a paper or chart or something like that. These qualitative data analysis software are designed to support you in your analysis and keep you hyper-organized so that it's easy for you to ask interesting questions, to report on what people are saying or what your data say. Um, and make it easy for you to, to write about it and, and tell other people about what you're finding.